Some big news on the Amazon aggregator front. Purchase announced today they've raised more than $775 million to go acquire more Amazon brands. My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. Today I'll talk about why this is such a big deal. For starters, Thrasio just announced in February that they had raised $750 million. Now, mind you, Thrasio is the largest aggregator. We covered this story. I'll put a link in the video description here. Uh, and they've raised over $1.75 billion to date. They're still the top dog. But Perch wants to be on record to be seen as the top dog. So they made that number, that $750 million number. They threw an extra twenty five million on top of that. And now that they did that in a Forbes article today, which just came out, they can then claim that they have the largest Series A funding ever done for direct-to-consumer packaging goods companies buying and acquiring brands on Amazon. Now, for those that have been following me in particular, you'll note that I own AmazonAggregators.com. I have interviewed more than 35 different aggregators. If you're curious about a full list of all of these aggregators and who they are and what they do, probably going to have to move Perch up here a slot because they're definitely in slot number two now for sure. I've also talked to Thrasio, Perch, Boosted Commerce, Joint Branded, Bentigo. Many, many different aggregators are on my list. If you are an aggregator and you're not on this list yet, just send me a line at podcast at myamazonguy.com. We'll be happy to add you. We are following this closely because this affects everybody in the Amazon space. You never know uh, if if a, an aggregator is going to want to buy your brand or your business um, or if you want to exit and there's tons of money entering the space. So the Forbes article, which I'm going to read out today, just to give you some color and flavor on what's going on uh, because I think this is extremely big news the fact that we've now seen a second player raise this sheer volume of money tells me there's probably a third, a fourth, and a fifth in the pipeline. And to date, we've you know personally tracked through our website about $3 billion of money entering the space just in the last 12 months. And, and so that really does change a lot of things. So uh, if you've watched my other aggregator videos, you know I've talked about how I believe that with the Chinese going direct to consumer on the left, you're getting price pressures, aggregators coming in from the right, making it more difficult, adding complex money and increasing your competition. And then Amazon, of course, from the top down, pushing down, making it harder to run your business. So without further ado, here's the Forbes article. Uh, Perch landed $775 million of investor funding that will make the 18th month old startup one of the best funded players, number two, chasing the businesses of booming, of rolling up small retailers that are crushing it on Amazon and other marketplaces. The funding for the Boston-based business is the largest ever Series A raised by a consumer packaged goods company, according to Crunchbase, and almost four times larger than the record set by the Chinese online used goods trading marketplace in 2017. The round was led by SoftBank Vision Fund 2 with participation from Spark Capital and brings the company's total funding to date to over $900 million. And now, my, again, Thrasio at $1.75 billion, so they have a ways to go to catch up there, but they're really chopping at the bit to make that happen. We are building the next generation consumer products company, said Chris Bell, founder and CEO of Perch, echoing the objectives expressed by the market leader in Amazon rollups, Thrasio. In a Forbes profile last year, the newfound appeal has the former Bain & Company and Wayfair executive relishing in the sudden rush of interest from investors. The reception I got was a little bit like a Nigerian print scam, he says, of his early pitch meetings. Uh, and, and by the way, we've had Thrasio on our podcast. I think there's an open invite to Perch right now. So uh, I think they were probably waiting for this announcement before they joined my podcast. So they'll probably be on here in the next month or so. The funding will be used to acquire new businesses and add staff and develop its technology platform, which Spark Capital general partner Alex Finkelstein says is a primary reason for the investor interest. Purchase proprietary software helps them identify viable targets and grow them once acquired by expanding their advertising efforts, setting more dynamic pricing, managing their supply chains. According to Bell, 25% of Purchase 70 plus employees are software engineers. So this is what you are competing against as an Amazon mom and pop seller. If you're a one or $2 million brand, this is the sort of sophistication that is coming into the marketplace right now. And that's why you need to be generally aware of this and if you can't keep up with the sophistication, either by getting an American-made product or by getting something that is so such a good product that somebody can't knock you off or replicate you, or maybe get some intellectual property, you know, beyond a trademark like a patent, for example, uh, you are going to be competing against people with 
such behind the scenes data that you've never seen before. Mind you, tools like Helium 10 are really powerful tools out there on the market right now that gives you a ton of keyword data. But what Perch or Thrasio and many of these other aggregators are investing in, we don't really have a lot of insight on what kind of data and tools they're building and what they're up and up to. They're very private about it. But we do know that the, the investors are able to be swayed by the tech and, and it's, it's very apparent. So most of the aggregators on my list are generally raising about 100 to 125 million. Like, like after like aggregator four or five, that's how quick it drops off, right? So for, for Perch to come out and say they've raised 775 million, that definitely puts them in slot two here right after Thrasio. And many of these other aggregators are, are right around that 100, 125 million dollar mark. And there's like 80 of them listed on my website. So that gives you an idea how much money is entering the space. Back to the article here, uh, Perch is one of the growing number of challengers chasing the business of buying up third-party sellers that have a proven track record online, particularly on Amazon, which is in the first quarter reported that nearly 55% of the products it sold were from third-party sellers. That's a big deal. I do believe personally Vendor Central is going to go the way of the dodo bird. We're going to see it disappear at some point. I'm surprised they haven't merged the portals yet already. I think I made a prediction two years ago that I thought that last year they would merge the portals and get rid of it. Um, I think Vendor Central is super clunky. They're not investing it anymore, so it's kind of interesting to see that. But 55% of the products sold by third-party sellers, I bet that number is going to go up either way. More than 50 firms looking to buy those sellers attracted over $4 billion in capital since April of last year, according to the Marketplace Pulse. So I'm about a billion dollars behind. Maybe it's accounting for this particular purchase, probably is. Uh, and so that makes sense. It lines up with my numbers if that's the case. Bell says the business has been profitable since its founding in November of 2019, but would not disclose any financial information. That is interesting. Most aggregators, there's no way like 90% of them are profitable by this point. They're just throwing big money around. And, 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 and kind of like I mentioned, it's like the only reason the number was 775 on this particular announcement is because they're sending a message to like, hey, we can out fundraise Thrasio. Check this out. We got 775. They only had 750 million. That's where, that's where we're going to see probably like the third or fourth guy that comes out. They'll probably just announce a billion right out the gate. That's what I would do if I was trying to get attention and PR, etc. Bell says the business has been profitable since its founding in November 2019, but would not disclose any financial information. Last year, Thrasio generated over 100 million in profits on 500 million in sales, according to the company. Thrasio assembled a portfolio of more than 100 brands in 2020 and was purchasing an average of two to three new companies per week in February when it closed another $750 million of funding. Perch boasts 70 brands in its stable of third-party sellers. So that's a little bit higher than I actually expected. I didn't realize Perch had already had 70 at this point. It's pretty sizable. They really are chomping at the bits to pass Thrasio here, including Women's ath Athleisure, never heard that word, brand Satina, Teeth Whitener, Cali Whites, and Kitchenware from Flathead. Perch has acquired more than two brands a week on average so far in 2021. While it primarily sells its products through Amazon, Bell says they are expanding into brick-and-mortar channels as well as other online marketplaces, those operated by Walmart and Target. I don't believe that's necessary this year. I, I truly believe it's, there's so many brands available. Back in January, I felt like it was a seller's market for Amazon brand owners, and I think we flipped the script, especially in the last 60 days. I, I, I believe right now it's a buyer's market for Amazon brands. And so most of the aggregators that I've been speaking to, they're over inundated with the amount of uh, deal flow. That means they've got more deals on their plate that they can even mentally process. So they have so many deals, they are passing on more deals than they did even three or four months ago. Now, with that said, the sheer volume of billions of dollars entering our space, there's still plenty of money to go around if you are looking to exit your business. I am very bullish, though, and I think that the, the most value that you'll get out of your Amazon business is not in 2021. I think it's in 2022 or even possibly into 2023. So the private sector money is now starting to pour in. Following that, we may even see public sector come in. And so timing that market might be very interesting. 
Um, if, if anybody listening to this is interested in selling their business, you should check us out at amazonaggregators.com. You can give us your information. We will introduce you to the aggregator that we believe is the best fit to offer you the best bang for your buck. Um, this particular service is just my own personal hedge against the market forces. Obviously, I don't want any of my clients to sell their brands. Uh, I make money on them by giving them full service management, everything from traffic generation from PPC and SEO to conversion improvements on design and catalog. And so because I'm bullish, I am saying like, don't sell your brand right now, but I do hedge against the, the market forces just in case for anybody that wants that kind of referral or introduction. So last thing in the article, it says the company is growing incredibly fast, much faster than we could ever imagine, says Sparks Finkelstein. We are fortunate to back companies like Twitter, Wayfair, and Slack in the early days. This is the fastest growing company in the history of Spark. Very informative information here on the record and gives you, gives you a, a little bit of a pause. And it's like, hey, you know, if I had invested in my stock in Amazon five years ago, look where it would have been, that kind of thing. Who, who would have known AWS was going to be so powerful and subsidizing the Amazon platform and all that. So a lot of big money being thrown around in our space. These are huge market forces. You do need to pay attention to them. If you miss my other aggregator videos, I will link to them here with the playlist so you can check out like what that's like. If you are an aggregator and you're, you're struggling with running your own accounts, you bought 30 or 40 brands and you're like, oh, what do we do? Check out hiring my Amazon guy. I also have a bunch of videos that are built for aggregators, like how to run multiple accounts, how to set up your OTP with Chrome extensions, and a bunch of utility videos as well. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And big, big news coming out today about Perch raising $775 million to go acquire Amazon brands. Let me know what you think about the news in the comment section. And thanks for subscribing.